We are on day six of the Arizona Trail. <laughs> I just started hiking and I already have cows staring at me. Um, but we have no beautiful sunrise or morning light this morning because everything is overcast and cloudy. There's no sun, there's just some, some ambient light. It is supposed to rain today. I'm not sure the intensity of the rain, but um, I guess I'll find out when it comes. I should have a little bit of the morning where it's dry to get some miles in. But that's day six and we're still heading north. Another day, another cow. It's even a bull down there in the mix. As you can see, really cloudy and overcast. There's a tiny bit of light coming through the clouds over there. But I wanted to point out the vegetation has changed to more of what we think of desert plants. So these crazy spindly ocotillos. And I saw an agave. Oh, there's an agave right there by the ocotillo. And then um, there's a barrel cactus over here. And up on this hill, some prickly pear cactuses. And I've been seeing little little yuccas around too. So this transition happened kind of yesterday, but it was uh, late enough in the day that I was too tired to whip my phone out. Uh, there would have been better light on it, but especially these ocotillos, they're just everywhere. Oh, there's, there's some yuccas up there as well. Surrounded by ocotillos. Should be seeing my first saguaro in the next couple days. I think I enter Saguaro National Park in maybe three days, so I should definitely see them by then. This lovely body of water is Twin Tanks, and it is a cattle tank. And I've, I've so far avoided having to refill my, my water with cow water, but I have a good 13 miles to my next water source. So I do have to filter from here. It's not the first time I filtered from um, a pond like this and the filter does work. It's just ick. So um, there are a couple of road crossings where trail angels potentially have left water, but I've already crossed a couple of those and there hasn't been water, so I can't rely on that. You can see, oh, it's starting to rain too. A little little rain droplets on the on the pond here. So I have to get some water from here and if I do a trail crossing and there's regular water I'm, I'll just dump this out and get the regular water but have to fill it from here. Had to do it eventually. This is what cow water looks like once it's been filtered and look who came to join me. Started hearing noises behind me. They're not happy I'm here. And I hear more, so I am going to get up and leave them to their, their cow water. You can see the storm coming over there. I wish it was a sunny day because there are great wildflowers all along the trail here. Like a whole bunch of them. Uh, you have the white and the yellow and the purple. And over here are some reds in there. And uh, I don't know what these yellow ones are, but... Uh, they're not poppies, <laughs> but I've seen a whole bunch of them. And then uh, I've seen some, some poppies too, so. Beautiful wildflowers, just they're not as visible with the, the storm coming. Look at all of these flowers. Beautiful. It's still a super overcast day, but it uh, hasn't rained yet. Still waiting for that to hit. can see it over here. I can actually see it dropping some stuff on the, the mountains that way, but I've been dry so far. This is like walking through a garden, like a cactus garden. Got some blooms right here. A bunch of different types of cacti and wildflowers growing over. It's just really beautiful. It's like I've hit kind of a, a flat part and I'm heading towards I-10 and I've seen a whole bunch of people just out for exercise, which is kind of funny because I'm at the point of this through hike where I, my feet are hurting 
all the time from, from when I get up until I go to bed. And I was a little exhausted today and I see people out on their mountain bikes or walking their dogs through a beautiful little garden. I just hit a trailhead and my trail angel luck has improved. There is a food storage box here and there is water. So thank you, thank you, thank you, trail angel. Water here. Let's see if there's anything in here. Oh my gosh, so much water. So much water, I don't need cow water anymore. Thank you, trail angels. It's possible I'm going to escape this storm. I mean, the sun has kind of poking through a little bit. And then I definitely saw some rain over that way. There might be some just over there. There's definitely rain over here. But I kind of seem to be in a tunnel. And I'm walking kind of towards the end of this storm. So that would be awesome. Directly in front of me is Interstate 10, so I'm about to go underneath it and be north of I-10, which is a, a fantastic milestone, especially if you're starting from the Mexican border. And here we go, into the tunnel. I'm just going to film a little bit of it. And approaching the other side. Let's see it in just a second. Here it is, north of the I-10. Nice. The trail continues to the right here, but I'm going to stop at this trailhead for a minute. Uh, this is the Gabe Zimmerin trailhead, and I think there's a little display about him. Gabe Zimmerman was an aide to Gabrielle Giffords, who was killed in the 2011 assassination attempt on Giffords and uh, he was apparently an avid hiker so they um, this trailhead was was named in his memory so it's a really nice uh, nice display nice memorial I stopped for today at Sienica Creek and it was an eventful day I am north of I-10 and earlier today I also passed the 100 mile mark on the trail. So I'm a bit exhausted. I was pretty pretty tired and my feet were pretty swollen all day. But tomorrow I'm going to be taking a... I'm going to be doing about a half day because I'm going to be spending some time at Colossal Cave. So that's the end of day six and on to day seven.